Okay. I think we're on the final mission. Of the entire Advance Wars series. It's been uh, quite a long... I mean, it must have been... Almost a hundred hours, I would say. Pretty sure this is the last level. Uh, which one is it? Twenty-six. Yeah. Okay. Sunrise. Calder, we've come for you. Hmm, I did not expect you to find my nest so quickly. Perhaps you were not the ideal test specimens after all. What is this place? This is the Central Research Facility for Intelligent Defense Systems. It is my playground, a place where I satisfy my insatiable curiosity. Perhaps you would like to come in and take a look around? Ha! Ah, it's time to close up shop, Calder. Your clones are human beings, not property. You have no right to experiment on them. This whole game series loves doing stuff with clones, don't they? The man in the armored tank speaks of rights. How very tiresome. Whatever you may think of me, I have always been faithful to my curiosity. I am not motivated by greed or fame or the interests of society. If my research causes suffering or moral quandaries, I care not. I seek only to learn. In that sense, I am a pure and simple man. That doesn't change anything. This is quite a complex argument, actually. <laughs> Did you not lose both your parents in the Great War? Is Brenner still alive? He could be. That's the best thing you could do. We're not scared of that thing. We will achieve victory. This is the battle that ends the war. Okay. Oh my god. Um. So far, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, these guys have an early. Pretty strong force to begin with, but I don't think these guys are gonna leave their post. Oh my. Oh my. What is that? Does that extend all the way? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Let's have a look. So we've got Will again. So he's got good direct attack. Um, Alright, Calder. CO Zone 3! Along with attack up 5 and defense up 5. What the heck? 
All units in CO zone recover each day. Oh my god. This this guy is OP. That's insane. One, two, three. Wait. Okay, so he doesn't have his CO on the board yet. My god. So the priority is absolutely to bring down his CO. That makes my CO power look like nothing. Alright. Check the, uh... Check this room. No fighting in the war room. Capture cities with infantry and bikes, but watch those lasers. Attack the nest from the west, ignoring the enemies to the east. Bombers are the best way to destroy the lasers, but keep them protected. The enemy has a ton of units, so keep cranking yours out. Try to plug those holes the nest uses to build units. That'll be a big help. Huh? What holes? Oh, there's another laser here. What What are the holes? Oh, these are the holes. So if someone sits there, they can't make units. This is basically a factory. What the hell? Okay, fine. Um, Percent. How on earth am I going to do this? Oh, we need the rockets. Okay. So if we bring the rockets up to here. We need... To go one, two, three, four spaces. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. But these guys... Okay, we need the factory. So these are our cities. We need those cities up there. What is this? Ooh, a comm tower. Nice, they didn't use many comm towers in this game. Okay, well... Might as well go for... Comm towers. That'll give us a quick boost. Tower and the other factory. There's no more comp power, so that would be a huge boost. Okay, fine. Bomber up here. Ellie's can't attack bombers, can they? So, can we just bomb the laser? Alright, 
send the rockets up there. Bring the fighter as close to the heli as possible. We need you to get over to the heli. Okay. Alright, what else? Um, 19,000. I would say we make a lot of bikes. How many factories do we actually have? Two. Nineteen thousand. So, hello, Asidiku. So much property and so on. This is the end. Last missions are close to it. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um... This is the final mission, I'm pretty sure. Um, it looks strange. So, as I understand it, these, the nest just produces units. So I guess he doesn't really make use of money. Well, I suppose he has a factory here, so he does actually have income. So I guess I need to make a lot of... Okay, over here we can make infantry, I suppose. Um, let me think. So, uh, infantry is 1,500. Uh, Met bike is 2,500. But bike will save me one turn. So that is already worth 1,000. Yeah, okay, I'll get a bike then. Same reasoning here. Um, 14,000. So they don't have any anti-air yet, so I can make... Um... Copter, I suppose. Alright, I'm <laughs> I'm worried. Oh, his CO power is ridiculous. His, his CO zone is 3, that's like higher than mine. And everything gets plus five attack, plus five defense. Like on the last mission, it was CO zone zero, plus five attack, plus five defense. That means just the CO has insane attack and defense. And already that was really overpowered. It was really hard for me to fight with the CO. But here he's giving it to every unit. And all units heal, so I have to kill them. If I, uh, 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 Damaging them. And he has five on the end of the day. Five! Oh man, I thought it'd be something like one or two. Oh my god. Five. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fun. It does cost. It. Oh, so he's actually paying money for that healing, like as if he was buying repairs. Oh wow, that that changes things. Ah, okay. That definitely changes things. In some cases, that might actually be harmful to you when you don't want to heal them, and you'd rather just send the broken units in and make some fresh units. Ah, huh, interesting. But on the battlefront, it's pretty good, I guess, because it saves you the time of having to bring units forward. Yeah. It wouldn't be good in the long run. Okay, I think that's... Five powerful lasers and two mortar launchers. Oh crap, my fighter- oh no! What? Wait, what happened? Oh, so the laser- How did they hit me? I don't understand. The laser was in this column, wasn't it? So... He's now threatening those squares, but I mean it was threatening this column before. And that, this column was red. I feel like that already might have cost me the game. My CO just lost 5 HP. But I still don't understand what, what I did wrong. Huh. Wait, is there another weapon around here? to restart this mission, but I... Like, that's too much of a loss right there, but I still don't understand what... I'm just gonna fall into the same trap next time. Does he have a mortar somewhere which just can fling stuff at any position? I think I'll just restart that. Um, how do I... Well, they haven't explained the mechanics of those... Those weapons, so... Only laser I saw hit was was one of the three in the center. Then I think those holes on each side is a mortar. Oh 
Also, the mortar is probably unavoidable. This one here, is that a mortar? Oh, that does look like it could be a mortar. So it's just unavoidable, I guess. Uh. Oh! It has a range! It doesn't even show up as a unit, that's annoying. See, the laser shows up as a unit. That doesn't. Okay, fine. That's its range! What the f- Wait, and this side? But did they use it on this side? Oh, I think they did. I think they used it on my... On my anti-tank, or... Oh, so maybe they just used one? That's, that's ridiculous. Alright, so... We have to... So it does 8 damage, it seems. Like, the infantry can't just... can't worry about that. They've just got to get those buildings. So, as before, go for the comm towers. Because that'll give me the fighting edge. See, I do not want to have a factory in the midst of that range, but it looks like all factories are... No, there's one here. This this one factory is not in the... Oh my god, okay. S but there's no way to destroy the mortar. So we just have to take it, take the hit every turn. Like, I, I, we can't just evade it, I don't think it's too... Oh my god, okay. Um, for all I know, it might be easier than I'm thinking it to be. It just looks really scary. So we'll go for this factory, I guess. Okay, go for the comm tower. So, keep my best units out of this range, so I want to destroy, I would like to destroy the mortar, but I guess we can't. Or maybe we can with rockets, I don't know. Or maybe if we destroy this. don't think that would destroy the mortar. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, fine. Let's grab that. And see or get anywhere out of the range. Uh, yeah, we can get out of range. I guess we have to because he's the most valuable unit. Yeah, so it's lined with this airport, so he has to go over here somewhere if I don't want to get hit. So like here. God. They didn't even mention in the tactics thing about avoiding the mortar. I left that one as a surprise. But then, then what? Like, what's my plan here? I want my rockets to do something. If my rockets are to stand there, we can get the laser. But it means having to go this way.
one being most cost effective. Yeah, probably. And it doesn't really say what. So it hits multiple units, so it's probably like like a disc of range, of radius, like. It probably has a center and a radius of one, maybe. So that could hit one, two, three, four, five s spots, or I don't know. It looked like it was maybe maybe a radius one. So we get the rockets out of the way. They'll just have to go up this way. And you can go this way. The AA gun. The AA gun can't push to the right, we have to push to the left if we don't want to get hit. Man, <laughs> what? Okay, we'll try evading it, but it seems like it's going to be a bit of an uphill um, struggle. I might just have to accept the hits. The missile? Wait, so let's have a look at this again. The missile can escape if he goes that way, but then he's useless. Now the fighter, I made the mistake of going in front of these lasers, so I need to go here, I guess. Alright, and then you, okay, you need to get out of the way of... So the only column where this tank is safe is this column here. So you can go here. The bomber can go up here. Okay, so that's the safe approach, but it's also probably kind of it's moving my units into weird places and slowing things down. But oh, oh and I need to make units. All right, so what do I make? Infantry or bikes? See, if I make bikes, he's going to target the bikes, but then... Maybe I should let him target bikes, I don't know. Because the other guys are capturing. Yeah, I just make bikes. Fourteen thousand. I didn't make anything in the... Airport. Hang on, so what does the red mean? That's where he can drop the... Uh... I hope it doesn't mean it's the... that's where he can drop the center of the explosion. I'm guessing it means that's the full reach of the explosion, so no damage can be done to the left of this. I hope that's what it means. <laughs> There's no point making any aircraft there. Well, maybe I could make aircrafts. I don't know. Yeah, it might be. I could be just worrying too much. Maybe it's actually not that hard. It's not clear yet. We haven't done enough turns for anything to happen. Alright. That looked like it had a range of two from the emanating from the center.
So it dropped like there. Yeah. So it's like uh, this star. All right. Oh, there's a whole pack of dogs barking. Um. I don't think comm towers give you income, do they? But, I mean... Uh, what do comm towers do in this game again? They... I assume it's the same as previous games, 10%. Seems the two mortars are off-sync. As in... So, you, you think this one will go next? Probably. In that case... Yeah, I think that I have to hope that's the case, otherwise I'm never going to get anywhere. So we can move the rockets. Actually, it's still better to go up there. Yeah, move the rockets up here. Yeah, if we go here, we could probably take out that cat laser. The laser is not the scary one, though, it's the mortar. Ah, so they said destroy those five lasers and we win. I assume that's, that's the terms. Destroy the nest or all enemy units. Okay. Yeah. I guess we'll go up this way. So they're gonna strike here now, probably. Uh, okay, fighter has emerged. That's fine. Attack you. What did eight damage? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so only that laser fired. Yeah, the laser hits everything. That's usually the case for any forms of um, area of effect weapons in this game, like lasers. So yeah, it damages their units as well. So these are going to get damaged if... If... Um, yeah, it goes off before he moves his units. Because he then moved. So this... So this... I can assume that only this column is going to get hit now by the laser. The, 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 uh, at least amongst these three. But these lasers will go off as well, I think. It's a lot to think about here. Um, and the bomber, the bomber can't reach those ones. Damn it. Okay. Go for the fighter then. One of the other advanced wars, their weapons like that did... Did do damage to their units, or didn't? As far as I can remember, they've always done damage to... Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, there are some units which don't, which are actually, which do discriminate. Um, which game was that in? I think the last one I played, to, uh, maybe even this game. I've been on this game so long, it's like some of the first missions feel like they were from <laughs> previous game. I don't know. Okay, so...
No, I think you might be right. I think it's for like turrets with like a cone of fire. I think they don't hit enemy units, yeah. Okay, so I think that laser is going to fire, so we can go... here, attack him, and then go up and get one of those guys. Wait, why did I do that? He was about to get hit. I should have gone for this guy. Uh, whatever. Oh. Uh. I don't- if, if that kills him, then that's fine, but... But I don't think it's gonna kill them. I think it'll bring them down to one. That was a mistake. Okay, so if we assume this is gonna fire now... Go up here. Okay, it doesn't look too bad now that I'm just watching out for the lasers and I've just walked into a laser, haven't I? Pop! <laughs> So yeah, that war tank is going to get hit. So we can probably move the CO in now. So I don't know if he can get across in time. No, he won't be able to. He'll have to go back to the left. This guy can get across. Alright, bikes, just keep biking. Can't reach any buildings? Okay, whatever. Alright, my units are still kind of strong against theirs. He's not moving these guys, so don't worry about them. Get more bikes then. Oh, I can make bombers. Bombers, even sacrificial bombers, are what we need to get these lasers down. I made two major mistakes. That would be fairly costly, but... Okay, so it's going that way now. No bad for beans. Oh, balls. He's gonna stop me from capturing this. Alright, use the rockets now. This area is going to fire. So, go up two spaces. It should be good. I don't think it can really stop me. Um, So I've got the comm towers, all of the comm towers. That's one, two, three, three comm towers. So that's plus 30% attack and defense to every unit of mine. I think that's how it works.
Alright, Bomber has got to bomb something. Let's go for... Alright, we'll get rid of the fighter. Because he can just chip away. Oh, crap! Missiles. Ugh. So either I go for the laser now, or I go for the missiles, and I might lose my... Well, he can't get my bomber now. I think I've got to go for the missiles then. So that one's going to fire. I'll stop this fighter then. Alright, pick the right targets. Um, uh, this guy can try capture here, he'll take forever probably. This is firing. Man. We don't want him hitting the bombers, so we'll have to, uh... Just go to this column here. Damn it! I needed to go one space further. Bollocks. Alright, so that's the wrong place. He can't get to that laser from there. He can't get across, so he has to fall back again. Oh no! I just moved the CO in range of the laser. <laughs> This is not, like, they could just leave the red on the map. This is not, you can't expect us to memorize the geometry of all these different lasers and which way they're pointing. Like, make them visible. Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> that's gonna do, like, eight damage to my CO. I don't know, maybe this war is really fought with bombers. Um, maybe it won't matter. Get to his artillery. He's not putting a CO on the map. So that's good for me, I guess. Chases Heli. Okay, that's not in range of the right hand laser. So I can't make a bomber there. We don't have an airport here yet, so we need to alternate where we make units as well. Um, so I can't use the airport, might as well make a um, something here.
So he'll get struck. So his this army will actually be quite weak of his next turn because he'll lose seven points on that guy. So I don't even need a like a war tank or something. Let's go for a medium tank. Here. And here. No, this guy. Uh, just, just spam bikes everywhere. It can only help. Tempted to make it heli. He'll go for it though, but. But, um. I have the money to spare. Nah. I don't think that's cost effective there. Fuck. Well, my CO needs. Healing. You think you're a man of science, but you're just a selfish monster. What did you say? Creeper, it was you! Wait, you've only just figured this out, Will? That he's the one that created the virus? <laughs> it seems so obvious. <sighs> what is life? Merely a protein-based mechanism for energy consumption. All right, that's that's the laser angle I like because I can actually con conceptualize that. One damage. Okay, so we can destroy it next turn. Okay, um. Okay, so it's gonna be this laser now. This is starting to look suspiciously easy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's created a CO in the fighter. It's bad. Nothing can really take on that fighter now. Well, AA guns can, but he'll always be able to escape my AA guns. The only thing I can do is keep chasing him down. Oh my god. Alright, let's start with... Okay, keep taking these cannons down. Ugh. Life, dreams, hope. Where'd they come from? Where are they headed? These things I'm going to destroy. Kefka Palazzo. Kefka from Final Fantasy. Is that the character from Final Fantasy? Bomber, I wasted a turn with him. 
Alright, we can bomb one of these. So it's going to be this laser. So, I don't know, bomb the one on the right now. This fighter can... Alright, this fighter. Alright, fine. Let's go for this heli then. Okay, so we can bring the bomber up. Yes, he can get the laser next turn. Okay. Um, this guy just needs to he heal. Can't do much here. Right, these missiles are... It's no good just having them sit around here. We've got to try and get them... up somewhere. a lot of money. Um, if he's got a fighter, we need to make more anti-air, because it'll take several anti-airs to bring him down. I'll bring the anti-tank up here. Oh, I can bomb that. Okay, fine. So I could go for this heli with the anti-air. Yeah, that would be good. Except... Well... The thing is, the fighter's not... I mean, the fighter himself is not that scary, because he can only attack other planes. So it depends on whether he actually brings those tanks out. And they're only medium tanks anyway. So actually the force to the right is not actually that scary. It would be more scary if he starts actually making war tanks and stuff. So I can just bring down this heli. Damn it. Well, I want to I wanna strike him, but I don't want to get into the artillery's range. Okay, we'll go up to here then. Okay, what do we make? We've got lots of money. We'll definitely make another bomber. And make here. I think I'll just keep spamming bikes because. Not really that's even these units aren't that scary, they can attack like one bike. I just keep spamming bikes, keep getting more cities, and send my bombers up there. That's feels like it'll work. This laser's a problem now. Maybe I should have gone for that first. Because now he's got covering it with his fighter. Okay, so Let's 
So yeah, just make lots of bikes. Bike spam. I think that might actually be a good play. No, we'll see. The bikes are probably quite effective as well because they've got plus 30% attack and defense as well. So they can actually probably take on even small tanks. Maybe. I'm not sure. So if I... Yeah, okay, let's... Oh, I put the missile in the... No, I didn't. The missile didn't get hit. Interesting. He is not moving forward with this fighter, okay. This middle one's gonna go off. There's no enemy units there. So I'll go for... He can bomb that left one. Okay, might as well do that. Wait, the middle one's gonna go off. Yeah, so bomb that one. Bomb this one. Bring this guy up here so that he can help hit the middle one. Okay, now get the duster out of the way. No one can get those rockets. Eh. That's right, we'll take the hit. Oh, he can get the rockets. He's protecting... Okay, yeah, just go... Nah, he can't do much damage. 10% or something. Alright, which one's gonna go off now? This one on the right. Oh, it's lit up! That's what indicates that this, this one's lit up. This one's dark. So this one's gonna go off. Doesn't matter, it's actually gonna hurt him. Well, that laser is, but... Um... Bikes in. Alright, I think enough with the bikes now. Go in the middle square. Alright, the Palma. Missiles actually managed to get across. All 
Right, the CO could go up to here to heal a bit more. Alright, what next? Uh, 31,000. Let's make another bomber. I... This is suspicious. It seems like I'll be able to beat this by just spamming bombers now. I think that there's more in store for me. Uh, I would make anti-air. got to just keep making anti-air here, near his, his fighter. See, I'm covering this range and this range with my anti-airs. Four thousand. Uh, make a white, I guess. Oh damn it! That one was firing. Wait, what? CO is down. We can make a new CO. I've lost track of which one's firing when. Oh, it's dark because I destroyed it. It doesn't mean it's... Okay, so now this one's gonna go off. The lighting has nothing to do with it. There's actually no visual indicator. You just have to memorize the pattern. Okay. Um, and lasers... It's the left one now. But we can kill both of them, I think. He made a seaplane? Interesting, okay. Not a good choice, we can just wreck it. Too many units now, it's a bit of one. Uh, okay, we can hit this bomber. So now this one's gonna go off, right? Yeah, slow down the bomber. Let him capture that, I don't care. Actually, I don't really want him to capture that. What harm could the bomber do? He, he can hit my infantry. Uh, it's 1,000. No, we'll get the bomber. Oh, I should have gone for the airport, never mind. Okay, 
and just bring everyone forward, making lots of money. CO. Well, we should always make a bomber if we can, to be honest. And now we can make a CO here. Next time we can upgrade it to CO. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I've got this in the bag. I've got so much money as well, so it, it can't, even if my first attack fails, I will. And he's not using his CO to its full extent. Okay, so at this point we just move all the bombers in. This fighter can't stop them all. No, don't fire there. Oh. Interesting, that doesn't actually stop the capture. They've changed that, I think. Okay. What are you carrying? Okay. Alright, so it's the left thing that's firing. Okay, so everyone here can now just move up. Could do six damage, that's not worth it. Alright, so you've got that area covered, so I'll just go here, you've got here, you've got here, you've got here, fighter can get the um, Kelly. Starting to think it's suspiciously easy now. You just dodge the lasers and stuff properly. Whoa, 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 don't go there. Who's firing now? I can't keep track. All right, we'll just just avoid it either way. He can hit all my bombers. Oh my god. He could probably hit all four of these. Oh, it's fine. We can do a bit of damage from each. But yeah, that was a bad lineup. Okay. Oops. Unless that one's not firing, I don't know. I'll keep track.
Might as well send bombers down here then, because he's not going to go for that one if he's going for any bomber. Whatever, that rocket's history. Um, 1,000, we can make a... Uh, Ellie. Oh, it's the left one that's firing. We're good then. We've won, surely. What can you do now? He's not even trying to stop my bombers. His fight's a good of a time. What the? I rejected such petty concerns and chose to clone myself. You cloned yourself? After countless failed experiments, I finally realized my ambition. I then used my own clones to further my research. Wait, Will, you know he cloned himself. They are clones of him. That's the whole point. Do you know what it is to watch yourself die? It is fascinating. That's <laughs> These organs, these clones were used to grow organs that could be transplanted into me. What, you get losing your organs? Clones began to feel they resented being used in such a way and they fought back. Attack of the clones. Only one clone survived. So he's a clone, he's not the original. Who is the creator? Is it going to be a big reveal and the creator was actually someone, some character from the previous games? Um, Andy? Is that where Andy went all this time? Or someone made loads of Andy clones and they started changing shape and got white hair and became a girl and stuff and... Alright, so... We can't attack it from the side, so next turn will be to... Only old man I can think of is Von What's-His-Face. Well, they wouldn't necessarily be old, because it seems like he can speed up the growth of the clones. So it could be a clone of a young person, and they and they speed up the, the process somehow. I don't know. Next turn I can attack that, but I can't do anything now. Don't fire on that! Okay, uh, just attack you. We don't need to bother moving all these things, we can just, um... Uh, just, just get everything into position to attack this thing over here, so... This thing... Okay, so if we get to the right... Oh no, you, you can go here. You can go to this side. Yeah. Oh no, the AA gun will get him. Never mind. Um... Chase his fighter away. He's actually retreating, so if I move down a bit, go up here. We can't attack the fighter. Alright, just get these bombers ready.
He needs to go refuel or something. Uh, everyone else doesn't matter. This way. Okay, so I don't think he can do anything to stop me. Capture one of these buildings. See, if he had just planted a unit in front of the miss, in front of the laser, probably wouldn't have been able to stop him. Is that it? We just... Alright, that should win the game, unless there's more. So before I do that, try and get some power points. So we do that by... going for the overkills, which is... Dump mechanic, but okay. Can I find any overkills here? You have to get like huge percentage attacks. It doesn't matter how much damage you actually do to them. All that matters is what what percentage it says it predicts you're going to do. It's that which is used. So the bomber could bomb a, like a one HP infantry, and that would. You... So he's gonna attack, so we can use you to bomb this guy, I suppose. Well, that's not much. Okay, this guy... Get the heli. That's not much. Yeah, I can't get any overkills here. Maybe... Oh, I can't even reach him. What about this? That's... 63 is okay. <laughs> Silly. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just hammer. Hammer time. Well, can my AA gun do much against the bomber? Get it. Have you done? I'm dying. I'm dying. I have killed so many clones, but I am different. I am unique. I am alive. They were all unique and alive as well. Help me, please. Someone help me. Don't, Will. Don't you dare help him. Don't you dare, Will. S rank. I think that's fair. I think nothing about that was like bad performance. Like everything was fine. Technique, I could have not made so many units, like because I didn't need half of them. <laughs> that's an easy mission. Scary. I was like, I reset it at the beginning because I thought I basically lost. I think I would have won anyway, but at least I got an S rank this time. You hope. Another cloudy day. Let's see how everyone is. Hey Will, take a look. We finally got some crops to grow. It's not much, but still. Are you kidding? That's wonderful. I know it wasn't easy. What have they been eating all this time? 
those meteors actually fertilize the soil somehow. Plants love it. I suppose that's plausible. Meteors could probably bring in minerals and nutrients. Um, but without sunlight, I just don't know. It seems more plausible that they might be able to get fungus and mushrooms to grow than plants if there's no sunlight. Thanks, thanks for the uh, egg tree polygon sex tree bad for beans. Don't give up, keep at it. Remember, where there's life, there's hope. <laughs> uh, finds a way. Don't worry, Will. We'll keep at it. We will support you, Penny. Yes. Yes, Penny. I'm the one that killed your whole family. Isabella and her sister. What is it? Well, you see, it is common for clones to have shorter lifespans than the original organism. In the case of cloned mammals, such as sheep, the aging process is usually accelerated. Interesting. Is that actually true? It could be. There are sections of DNA called telomeres that act as buffers during cellular... I can see I'm losing you. Let me try again. No, I wanted to hear the science. Basically, clones have genetic problems that cause them to have shortened lives. So, clones made from other clones have even shorter lifespans. It's basically the whole photocopying a photocopy thing. <laughs> or, in the modern day, recompressing a YouTube video, re uploading a YouTube video over and over again. But it's true with Isabella, she would even now be at the end of her lifespan. He says, were this true? So he's saying she's not a clone? Their cloned genes function better. The same quirk occurs in cloned humans. Then Isabella might may outlive us all, all of us. Well, he's just guessing. What does he actually? What on what basis does he think Isabella has that quirk? You don't need to carry your sniper rifle while you're milking cows. Isabella! Will, good morning! Lynn and the others are on their way, but I think we can wait for them here. Yes, sir! What's wrong? You look upset. No, it's just the war is over and the virus has been eliminated. Well, you missed the war, Will. But this doesn't mean that our work is done, you know? This world is still full of people who need our help. And full of people who want to destroy us, too. And we may never find them all. You're right, Will. We may not. 
but we will keep trying, and that is what matters. You're right, we can't give up. After all, where there's life, there's hope. Yes, Will, there's always hope. Hey, enough about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? Oh, I'm fine. You know me. Just one day at a time. As long as I'm here with all of you, I'll be alright. I mean, as long as you're here with me, then I can be happy. Me too. Oh, oh my gosh, Will. Look. What? What's wrong? Look, it's the sun. <laughs> the sun, finally. We get to see this. Oh, it's blinding! Oh. No, don't look at the sun. Don't look at it. I think we're going to be okay. Well, there we go. That's Advanced Wars. Days of Ruin. I it was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought a lot of the Advanced Wars community consider it to be the black sheep of the series, and some don't like it. Some do like it. So it's very mixed opinions. But I really enjoyed it. I thought actually, I'm actually glad they decided to change the style and do something completely different. Um, like, there's only so many times you can repeat the whole cartoony. Theme. After this one, is there any others? No, that's it. Well, they're making a reboot of next month. They're releasing a reboot of one and two on the Switch, which looks really good, but it's, it is a reboot. Uh, but no, that's. Um, this was the last of the series, essentially. Um, there's a game on Steam called War War Groove. It was supposed to be kind of like a similar game to this, but it's fallen out of favor recently because the devs are not not doing a good a job, good job of fixing it, and um, I think the multiplayer scene has kind of fallen apart. So for a while it was a good game, but I don't think it's really. It's really managed to uh, take off. But there is, I mean, for PvP, there is Advanced Wars by web. It's a website which is really well written, actually, Like, you, and you can uh, use all the characters of the first games. They don't include this game, but... Um, uh, and you can play against other people. It has a really nice interface, and there's a pretty competitive scene on that side. But, but no, that's it. That's uh, that's the entire Advanced Wars series. I think it took me like probably like a 100 hours altogether to, to beat the whole series. <laughs> Hello, Fallen Thespian. Just finished Advanced Wars. Penny, Tabby, and their brother who isn't a CO and is a non-combatant. It's kind of weird that you really don't get to... One of the great things about the previous games is that you could experiment with different COs, and there were lots of opportunities to use lots of different COs and their powers and mix and match. Especially in Jewel Strike, where you could pick two COs and they could tag team. You can like they could drop in and then you can tag to bring the other one in and change change to his power. But in this game it's just fixed COs for each map and it's almost always will. <laughs> it, no, it's almost always no CO. They introduced COs really late in the game. And then it was mostly just Will. And sometimes you used Lynn and she was kind of rubbish. Will is okay. But you didn't really get to use all the other COs that we keep unlocking. See, it says we've unlocked Colder, but none of the missions use any of these COs we've unlocked. I guess you can just use them for, like, scenario maps. Hey, didn't I get the achievement? The, re the retro achievement. I didn't see it pop up.
So that's beaten now, is it? Oh, there it goes. You actually have to open it up again to get the achievement. And I got an air strike for that. Actually, I got S ranks for 24, 25, and 26. Wow. Like, it was going downhill. C's. Like, it was. It was like S, 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 A's. A's, B's, and C's. With a few S's, then down to the C's, and then back to S's. <laughs> Timing is perfect, as always. Uh. I might, I might come back with another game in half an hour or so, but um, and these are all. So from what I understand, this entire square grid is filled with maps. Just every time you unlock them, you unlock the neighbors. So like each each one you beat unlocks. So there's actually quite a lot of gameplay beyond playing the campaign here. You can you can play lots of um, optional maps. And from what I've seen, the AI is really, really good. And that's very rare in strategy games, full stop. <laughs> like, even some of the best strategy games, some of the top ones, Asia Empires, um, Civilization, the AI is garbage. <laughs> it's one of the biggest complaints by players. This one, the, the AI was just playing brilliantly. It, it picked all the right counters, it moved, like, you know, forwards or backwards, like it would retreat when it realized it was being beaten, it would put trash in front of the expensive units to block block me from getting to them. It did all the all the pro things. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, I would I would rank this as basically one off, if not the top tactics games, games in the tactics genre. Also because it plays so quickly, if you play things like, because um, I was talking to DJ about this before, if you play things like Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics Ogre, they're great games, but they're also very slow paced. Like you just have to wait for ages for the animations to play out and and the movement. Like this one, you could jump into a game, you can move lots of units, the enemy moves lots of units quickly, like you don't have to wait forever. And yet it still took me something like 20 hours, so. And that final boss was surprisingly easy. So in the first two games at least, nah. All the previous games, the final boss was immensely difficult. Um, like when you were fighting that guy Sturm in the first game. Like, you get given three armies, you can control them each, and he has one army. And it's still like a very uphill battle, and he has the power to summon comets from the sky. No, one comet from the sky. Um, which, which kind of wreck a, maybe a three radius area, which is insanely powerful. Oh, and he can ignore terrain, so he can move through mountains as if, it, as if there were roads, which is also stupidly powerful. This boss was super easy. Like, that was, it was just scary looking, but you just send some bombers to take down the lasers and then boom, that's it. Maybe they just wanted a change from the previous games. They wanted hope. So I wouldn't be surprised if lots of people got to the final missions of the previous games and just gave up because it was too difficult. For me, the hardest mission was probably either... Okay, that one's not too hard now that I know the strategy, but you have to play it a few times to realize what the strategy is. Uh, there was one I was stuck on for three hours, but it was just stalemate-ish. Maybe... Oh, this one took me a couple of attempts. Yeah, that one is quite rough.
uh, 22, I think. I think I was stuck on this one for a long time as well. 70 days it took me. This was just an outright stalemate. I could not find a way to penetrate them. You know, you have more income than, than them, so you think you can just spam units and they won't be able to do anything, but they, they just choose the right counters every time. The story was kind of... Uh, it seems every character is either too good or too bad. It's like there's no in-between. Either they're just like psychopathic, like... Like... Even, even on our side, the side of good, we had some... Like Lin, for example, she just always wanted to kill and leave people to die and stuff. And then you got Will, who's kind of always really, really good, even if it kind of means he's putting himself in danger. I think the characters were very black and white. But I think the CO system was actually pretty smart. I was skeptical at first, but it, it makes sense to have a CO who's actually on the map, and he has a radius in which he actually affects his units instead of affecting globally across the whole map. It makes sense that he's he's motivating the people who are near him. And his power only applies to people who are near him. And then that makes for much more strategic gameplay. Um, and I can imagine that being really good in the competitive scene, but I don't think there's a big competitive scene for this game. They haven't remade it for Advanced Wars by Web, but they might do. Um, I might actually get into Advanced Wars by Web, I don't know. I haven't played multiplayer games for a long time, but it looks like a really good project. And that would be just in time for Advanced Wars Reboot, because that's coming next month. And I'm not going to play it because I don't have a Switch, but I'll watch people watch it playing it. So yeah, if you want to see more Advanced Wars, I recommend looking out for that. Um, it looks good. There's only one streamer I've really watched, and his name is Mangs, M-A-N-G-S, so if someone wants to watch someone who's actually good at the game play play Advanced Wars all the time, then watch Fangs. Alright, done. I need to decide on a different game to start up because I've played too much strategy lately. I just need something dumb and shooty shooty or something. Or maybe a good old story game like The Walking Dead or something. It's taken me so long to beat Advanced Wars, the whole series, that I feel like I can almost go back and play the first one because it's like enough time has passed. But, um, I don't think I will. Alright, see you later, everyone. See you, Acidicus, Fallen Thespian, Bad for Beans.